Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and in this video I'm going to be borrowing these little mini strawberries off my character Pagu here and I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a mini strawberry. But don't worry, this little guy will be coming soon as well. This is Pagu and uh, I'm still working on, on him at the moment so he still, still needs his tail. But uh, we'll put him to the side for now and I'm going to show you how to make this cute little strawberry. And this is such a cute, quick project. We're going to need three colours. You can use a, a red or a pinky colour. You can tell I did this one at night time and I thought it was red yarn. It actually ended up being pink yarn but I think that still makes a cute strawberry. And we're going to need some green yarn as well and you're going to need a tiny amount of white yarn as well. Uh, this is a DK light worsted weight yarn, so it's a yarn weight of three, but you can use any yarn that you like. It'll just make a bigger or smaller strawberry. And with that, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook. And you'll also need a bit of toy stuffing, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're gonna take our red yarn and do a little slip knot to begin. And you can either use the magic loop, magic circle technique, or I'm going to use the chain four method, so it's suitable for beginners. But we're going to start off by chaining four. So chain one, two, three, and four. It's so chain four. We're going to put our hook into our first chain, bring the yarn through the first chain, and straight through the loop in your hook. Now you've got a little loop of chains. In the middle is a hole and into there we're going to work seven single crochet. So I'll do a little chain one for leverage, so don't count that as a stitch. I'm going to go into the center, careful not to go into your first chain, go into the middle and just wrapping it around the chains, work a single crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology, so in UK terminology that's a double crochet. We want seven of those, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more, seven, Okay, and you should, even with a chain four, if you work into the middle, you should be able to pull the center closed a little bit. And if you can't, you've probably worked into your chain one by accident. Uh, okay, so once you've got seven single crochet, we're just gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet, hook into there, and just work a slip stitch to join the round. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna chain one, don't count that as a stitch. We're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around. So go back into that stitch, that first single crochet you just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. And then do one single crochet in each stitch around. So keep a stitch count of seven. So two. Three. four, five, six, and one more, seven. Okay, it always looks like there's another stitch there, but that's what I call the fake stitch. So um, just ignore that, that's your previous slip stitch. You wanna find your first single crochet. Sometimes it helps counting backwards to find your first single crochet, but you want to slip stitch into that first single crochet. So what I like to do is just bring that through and then just pop out towards you, your strawberry, give it a little pull to tighten and then bring it through. That just removes any sort of gaps or loose bits of yarn and it's starting to point in the right direction. Now the reason I'm joining the round instead of just working continuously is just so it's easier for beginners to know where the end of the round is. So, But you can work continuously if you wanted to, if you've got a little stitch marker. But then what we're gonna do, do a little chain one and then go back into the same stitch you just slip stitch into, and we're gonna do two single crochet. So one, 
go back into there again and do two. So you've got two in there. We're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around until we've got a stitch count of 14. So we're doubling up. So two in each. One and another one in there. Two. And then two in the next stitch. So repeat that all the way around. So you've got 14 stitches. The last two, 13 and 14. And there you can see it looks like there's another stitch. Should be a little bit smaller this time, but that's your fake stitch. So making sure you've got 14 stitches, find your first single crochet and slip stitch into there to join the round. Okay, so got like a weird little hat at the moment. <laughs> then we're going to do two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. So start with a little chain one. Starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, just work one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 14. So just one in each. And we're going to do that for two rounds. Okay, so just coming up to the last single crochet on the second round, and we'll slip stitch to join. And I've worked two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 14. Now we're going to do a little decrease round, so we're going to start with a chain one, and we're going to single crochet two stitches together until we get to the end. So we're going to put our stitch count back down to seven. Now I'm going to do the invisible decreased because uh, I think it creates a nicer, smoother finish so it's less bulky than the standard decrease. So to do that we're going to start in the same stitch we just slip stitched into but instead of going under both loops we're just going to go under that front loop. Then we're going to bring our hook down and straight away we'll do the same in the next stitch. Just go under the front loop of the next stitch. Then we bring the yarn through both front loops and then work a single crochet. And that's much smoother. I'm going to do that all the way around. So next stitch, instead of going under two loops, you go under one loop, go straight into the next stitch, but again, instead of both loops, just the front loop, then grab the yarn and bring it under both loops, yarn over and work a single crochet. So I'm going to repeat that all the way around until I've got a stitch count of seven again. So just coming up to the last two. Sometimes it helps to flatten the project when working fiddly bits. And again, that's our little previous slip stitch of our fake stitch to find the first single crochet decrease you did. And we're going to slip stitch into there to join the round. Now we're going to bring up a loop and you've got quite a small hole now at the top because you've only got seven stitches. So using a pair of blunt scissors, we're just going to open that up and then we're going to add a bit of stuffing. So making sure to keep your work out of the way. Grab a little bit of toy stuffing. I don't need that much. Uh, or you can use yarn scraps as well, which I sometimes use. And to get it into the small hole, just use some blunt scissors and just push it through. Okay, so once you've stuffed that, we're going to get our green yarn and going to join that in a little chain one so put your hook back in to your loop and then taking your green yarn just hold it that with your finger it's going to bring that through the loop and then pull the red yarn down and now we're working with our green yarn and what we can do is cut our red yarn And tie, keeping your hook in the loop so the loop doesn't close, we can tie these tail ends together. And then we can shove those on the inside as well. So you can use those as stuffing. Okay, so now we're working nice and neatly with the green. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain three. 
that's chain one, two, and three. Then in your second chain along, so not this first chain, we're going to go into the middle chain and do a slip stitch. Then we're going to do a slip stitch in the first chain. So we've got this cute little pico leaf on the end. Then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Then we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch as well and repeat the same pattern. So slip stitch in there and then chain three. One, two and three. Do a slip stitch in the middle chain. Slip stitch in the first chain. Then slip stitch in the next two stitches on the main strawberry. So one and next stitch two and do the same thing again. Chain four, uh, chain three rather, not four. One, two, three. Chain three and slip stitch in the middle chain. Slip stitch in the first chain. If you find this a bit fiddly, it can help to move to a slightly smaller hook, so you might find a 3mm works better. Then slip stitch in the next two stitches on the main strawberry, which should be the last two. Do one more leaf. You can leave it at three leaves if you want, a bit of variation, but do one more leaf, chain three. Slip stitch in the middle chain. Slip stitch in the first chain. Then we're going to slip stitch in the same stitch at the very beginning where we slip stitch to join the rounds. So go into there. That's just underneath those first lot of chains to finish. Okay, so we're going to cut the green yarn. We're going to leave a little bit for sewing and to sew up the remaining holes. So it's going to bring that through because you've still got a little bit of a hole there. So we can get our yarn needle. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in to the next stitch underneath the green bit of yarn there, out through the middle. We're going to draw string it closed. So then from the inside we come out through the next stitch onto the next green slip stitch. And do that all the way around. So then go in the next stitch under the green to the middle, put it tight, come out under the next stitch, under that slip stitch, and do that all the way around. Neatly as you can. Give that a pull and it should close up the top. And when you're finished, you can either use this tail end as a little loop if you want to hang it onto something, but we're just going to bring that out through the bottom and then come out somewhere else. Then press this down, squish your strawberry, and cut the remaining yarn, and then that hole should disappear on the inside. Okay so there's our little cute strawberry <laughs> and we're just going to take some white yarn. This is literally the only white yarn I've got left so I'm running out of yarn in this house. <laughs> so please donate so I can buy more yarn so I can teach you things. Um, we're going to put our white yarn onto there. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a tiny little knot on the end Try and get it close to the end as possible. Then I'm going to come up through the bottom and I'm just going to come out through one of the stitches. And I'm hoping that little knot will catch on the inside. And don't worry if there's a little bit of a tail end, we can trim that down. Okay, 
There we go. And then we're just going to make some like little white seeds. So we're just going to go slightly diagonal to over to the stitch underneath and then just come out somewhere else for another stitch. And pull that a little bit so it stays quite small and it creates a little white seed and we're going to do that all over our strawberry. So just repeat that all the way around until you've got some little white seeds on your strawberry. You can change the directions as well if you want to. So I think I'll do one more down here and then I think I'm done. There we go. And then I'm just going to come out somewhere else. Once you're happy, again, just squish your strawberry. Try and cut as close to the strawberry as you can. Then that tail end will hide on the inside. And squish it down. And there is your little mini strawberry to go with your other little mini strawberries. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you managed to follow along. And uh, like I said, this guy I'll be working on. He just needs a tail. He's going to have a little friend as well called Bibi, a little bird. And uh, I'll be sharing that pattern soon as well. So keep an eye out for that on my website at happyberry.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to subscribe, you don't have to subscribe. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to try and release lots of regular free crochet tutorials for you to try and enjoy. So especially little yarn scrap projects as well. So using uh, using um, small leftover bits of yarn that will keep projects so let me know if you'd like to see a return to Yarn Scrap Friday in the comments below <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching bye